Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to find out if Gmax Snorlax is worth using in VGC 2020. A lot of people find Gmax Snorlax is absolutely broken, S tier or A tier. However, I don't think so. Let's jump in and see why I think that way. Comparing Gmax Replenish which refreshes a used berry at a 50% chance for Snorlax plus his partner in crime. This move replaces Max Strike which lowers both enemies speed at 100% chance. Looking on paper, Gmax Replenish is great, it's basically a recycle that does damage and it's not just damage, it's plus 6 damage as you're usually belly drum set up already and your berry is actually already eaten because of belly drum. However, this 50% chance makes it absolutely, I would like to say, trash but when you actually fish out a berry, it's absolutely broken and very oppressive ability. However, when you use all three turns of Dynamax slash Gigantamax just fishing for this berry and it doesn't show up, it's just trash and provides zero utility whatsoever. In most scenarios, three attacks at plus six can usually destroy most enemy teams, but being burnt or the enemy using a couple of max steel spikes to boost defense can lead to your enemy surviving three turns or being pounded into, which leaves you at a very big disadvantage after Gigantamax runs out. Comparing this to G-Max Butterfree, if even if you get unlucky with a poison status instead of a godly sleep or paralysis, at least you got poison, right? Which can still be useful in some scenarios, instead of absolutely doing nothing if you miss fishing out a bear. Let's watch a few clips of our G-Max boy in action. Probably not. Probably not. However, my dust pops could get to right now. But he might not be. He does T-Wave. He's on point. But it moves, right? It better move. Right. So... Hopefully I get a berry back. Did I get a berry back? Okay, that was... That's two turns of not getting paralyzed this time. I have a feeling I'm in. What? Was that me? Got my fairy back. My berry died. It's my berry nowhere to be found. In conclusion, if you're running Snorlax, it's best that it is a G-Max Snorlax instead of a normal Snorlax as it opens up more Dynamax options to you and when you can fish that berry up for both himself and his partner that used up their berry, it's absolutely broken, very oppressive. It feels very good for you and very super sad for your enemy as it pulls extra resources basically from your ass, I mean from nowhere. If I was putting this on a scale, I'd rate Snorlax just below Butterfree's G-Max because of how the RNG aspect lines up. It's not a bad move, it's actually a broken ability if it finds a berry, but when it doesn't, it feels like you wasted your Dynamax. Thank you guys for watching, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, and remember to subscribe. Peace out guys, and remember to keep AFK farming.